guys, it's Alice, and today I'm going to talk about the books I've read in the last two weeks of June. First up, we have got the graphic novel version of The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, and this is illustrated by Renee Nolt. This was sent to me by the publisher, and like I said, it's a graphic novel, which looks like this. And I feel like we all know what the story is about this point, but this is what the art looks like. So I did a whole reading vlog about this, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, but overall I very much enjoyed this, very unsurprisingly, seeing as The Handmaid's Tale is one of my favorite books. I really liked the artwork in this and I especially loved the use of color and the use of red throughout this, and I really liked the way that the people in here are drawn, especially the Waterfords. The story has been shortened a little bit for this, which I understand, but I do wish it had been a little bit longer and it had more of the original book in it. I also did notice a lack of diversity in the way that the characters are drawn, and I can't help but compare this to the other visual version of this that I've seen, which is the TV series, where they've done a much better job of that. I know that this was written in like the 80s, so I kind of get it, but I did notice it. Overall though, I really enjoyed this. It's a beautiful book and it's definitely worth a read and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. And for comparison, I gave the original story 5 out of 5 stars. The second book I read was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is a historical fiction slash contemporary novel and it's about Hollywood icon Evelyn Hugo who has decided to tell her whole life story with all its drama, glamour, and darkness, and to the surprise of everyone, she chooses an unknown magazine reporter to do so with. I really liked this book. It was fun, fascinating, and really engrossing. There's something really compelling about the story that made me want to keep going, and I love how it delves into themes of sexuality, love, being a woman of a certain era, and the relationship between humans and the complexity of them. I was surprised by how deep this went sometimes, and I really, really liked that. I also just loved reading about Evelyn. I thought she was such a fascinating and complex character, and you just want to keep reading because you want to figure out who she really is. That being said, I don't think I fell so completely in love with this as I know a lot of other people have, and I think the reason for that is that for me this gets a little bit too melodramatic sometimes. I was also a little bit disappointed with our other main character, the writer. When looking back at it, I don't really feel like we got to know her that well, and she didn't really feel that well developed. Overall though, this is an incredibly readable story with a fascinating main character and with really interesting themes throughout, so I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Lastly, I finished The Nakano Thrift Shop by Hirumi Kawakami, and this is translated from Japanese by Alison Markin Powell. This is contemporary fiction, it's set in Japan, and the story focuses on the Nakano Thrift Shop, where every object has a story, as does everyone in the shop. I thought this was a really sweet and kind of weird book, and there are some things that I adore about this and some things that I don't. I really, really liked the setting of the thrift shop in this, and I like how all the chapters focus on a different object in the shop. I quite enjoyed our characters, especially reading about the shop owner, like I thought he was such a weird and interesting character. But, that being said, this is the kind of book where not a lot happens in it, and when something does happen, it sort of does so very quietly. And I usually don't mind those types of stories, but I don't know if I think that the characters in here are strong enough to sort of carry that off. I was a lot more intrigued by this in the beginning than I was towards the end, so I ended up giving it a 3 out of 5 stars. I think it's worth a read if you like quiet, sort of, slice-of-life stories. Now to the book that I'm currently reading. I have just started The End We Start From by Megan Hunter, and this is a dystopian novel, but I think it's gonna be quite a quick read because it's quite short and the writing is all like this. Okay guys, those are all the books that I had to talk about today. Let me know what you all have been reading lately, and I will see you soon.
Bye.